Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel, Ibiru Ruby Lounge Makeup. I really hope that you guys stick around and subscribe for more videos. So I'm here today with a very exciting video on September 29th, which is about a week and a day from today. I went to the Makeup by Mario Masterclass. Mario came to Miami and I was so excited. As soon as I saw that he posted on his Instagram that he was gonna have a masterclass in Miami, I went ahead and I bought the ticket. As you guys probably, most of you know, Mario is an amazing makeup artist and he is Kim Kardashian's makeup artist. And they have made so many makeup looks so famous. And I know that he was always doing masterclasses all around the world and I just had not gone to one of his classes and he had not come to Miami. Later when I was in the master class, someone said that he had come to Miami about two years ago. So I must have missed that one because I didn't even know that he had been to Miami, but I was so excited that he was here. It was at the Colony Hotel, on um, at the Colony Hotel, at the Colony Theater on Lincoln Road in Miami Beach. So it was a really cool experience. It was so nice. I actually went by myself because that ticket to that class is expensive. So of course, unless you're like a makeup lover like me, I had no friends who wanted to pay that to go see Mario. The ticket was like 520 bucks or something like that. But you did get a really awesome goodie bag, which I am sure everything that is in that goodie bag is worth more than the $500. I mean, let me just show you what the goodie bag looks like. It is so heavy. This is the goodie bag that you get with the class. You get this, you get a certificate, you get a little book and you also get a pen. It pretty much had the whole place to themselves. It was it was a hot day and I thought I had gone there so early. But I actually was not that early at all. It was supposed to be from 12 I think to like 5, 5.30. I got there, they said that the doors were open at 11, so I got there like around 10.40, you know, thinking that I was being a little bit early, but no, the line was super long, it like wrapped around all over, you know, down the street from where the theater was, um, because there were two lines, there was like a VIP line, which is what I paid for, and then there was also like a premier line or premium line, I forgot what it was called, but I think they paid like $7.50 for their ticket. So they got to go quicker and sit like in the first few rows. I actually didn't get such a bad seat because since I was by myself, I must have sat like maybe 15 or 16 rows up right in the middle. I got a spot there. I had really nice people sitting next to me. You know, we were chit chatting about the class and it was just really, really fun. I really loved it. So basically today for this video, I want to show you everything that is in the goodie bag and just basically tell you a little bit about the class and some of the tips that he gave in the class and the products that he used. Because I wrote down a few things, um, but it was, it was just really cool. I really liked it. seen the smile on my face when I left that theater and they gave me the goodie bag. I mean, I knew we were going to get a goodie bag, but this is like a goodie duffel bag. I just could not believe that it was so big. So basically, just so you guys have an idea of how the event was. So around, I think we started walking in. By the time I got to the front of the line, it, it might have been like 11, 15, 11, 20. Um, and he came out around 12 noon and basically then he just started, you know, he spoke to us for a little bit, they gave us some rules. I actually didn't really, I filmed a couple things with my phone. In the ticket it said that videotaping was, was like completely forbidden, so I didn't even take my, I didn't take my blogging camera, but then he said when he was there, you can take photos, no videos more than 10 seconds so that you can put them on social media. So I do have some videos on my phone, so I'll try to, you know, include some of those in this video. But then after the class finished, I think it was around 5 or 5.30, we all lined up and took pictures. So I got to take a picture with Mario. So it's on my Instagram in case you guys want to check it out. And I'll go ahead and pop it in here as well. And then on the way out, they gave you the goodie bag. When my smile was like from ear to ear. I mean, the whole day my smile was from ear to ear. But when I got this thing, I was just so excited. I was like, oh my God, look at all the makeup I got. And then um, they actually gave us three other products on the table. They were like, this is your goodie bag. You can take three of those products, one of each, and then the certificate. So, so that's pretty much how it was. It was like, you know, it was like an exciting moment 
for a makeup addict. It was like you were in heaven. So anyways, so let's get started. I want to show you guys everything that's inside and I'll just be chatting with you guys and let you guys know um, of things that I remember in from the class that he said. You know, there are some tips that I was just like, so stupid, so simple, yet genius. So basically, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. It's huge, so there's really not much that I can, I can't really like pick, I can't do it in any particular order or product. I'm just gonna grab it and show you guys. So the very first product is from Wander Beauty. These are Baggage Claim Gold Eye Masks, and I think I've tried these before. Actually, I haven't tried these. I think I've gotten these in like a boxy charm or something like that in the past. So for your under eye baggage. That sounds so horrible, under eye baggage. Then it came with this Glow Bunny Ears headband. So let's go ahead and open this. Obviously I didn't want to open the eye bag because I didn't want to use one up. But let's see what this bunny ear is. Oh, this is probably like when you do your makeup and you want to look really cute with bunny ears. I guess this is how you do it. This is kind of strange. So these are the bunny ears, I guess, to get your hair out of your face. Um, Glow Hydro Maquillage. This is makeup remover on the go. This says high quality microfiber glove removes makeup oils and pollutants using only water. So this seems, I feel like this is kind of like that makeup eraser that they sell at Sephora. I don't know, it says you basically moisten with water, remove makeup, hand wash with a bar of soap, and that is it. So it's kind of like a little hand glove that you just stick in there. That it's kind of like a little towel, at least that's what it looks like. So it's, I was extremely excited about from Huda Beauty. This is the 3D highlighter palette. So this is pretty freaking cool. The palette looks like it has these highlighters. So I am excited to test these out. Oh wow, look at that one. Ooh, this is a cream base. So it has a cream base, powder, and powder. So basically this pretty much says to apply the one that's the cream as a base to smooth skin and amplify light reflecting pearls. Number two is to set, dab it on the cheek to temple to set and bring out the pop. Sculpt, apply Azores under cheekbones to add dimension and shape and sweep Ibiza on the apples of your cheeks for a healthy glow. So it's just very shimmery. So excited to test this out. I don't think I would apply all those colors all over my face just because they're all shimmery, but. From It Cosmetics, it also came with this Your Most Beautiful You Anti-Aging Matte Bronzer, Radiance Luminizer, and Brightening Blush Palette. So this has like three products. It's like a three-in-one. So I'm excited about that. I love the brand It Cosmetics. You kind of have like your little brush, your bronzer, and your highlight. And it says, live, love, laugh. Excited about this. I love It Cosmetics and he used the It Cosmetics Kabuki brush, you know, the double-ended one. I actually use that one a lot too, but it's really dirty, so I have it in my dirty brushes. It also came with another It product. This is an It Cosmetics brush. And this is the Heavenly Lux French Boutique Blush number four. So this is kind of cool how it has this like clear thing here. It's a very soft type of brush. So this is probably something that I'd use for, for blush. There are a lot of false lashes inside this bag. You have the Weekly Wispies from Ricky's NYC. You have some lashes from Lash Couture. Is it called Kiss? bring the salon home kiss salon so kiss more kiss lashes I came with a ton of lashes grande lips a hydrating lip plumper in the shade toasted apricot and this is what the product looks like let's see how this ooh i feel like this is a plumper that would hurt we're probably gonna click this for a little bit before it comes out this peachy color actually goes with what i'm wearing let me put it on my lips. I'll let you guys know if it's painful. It's a pretty peachy color. I'm not a huge fan of plumping products just because they hurt. Let the color, it's already starting to tingle a little bit, but it's still 
bearable. It becomes unbearable, I have to take it off immediately. But so far, so good. Volumizing hairspray from the brand Way. I don't know how you pronounce it, O-U-A-I. So this is a very good brand for hair products. Came with a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills products. It has the Liquid Glow Highlighter in the shade Perla. And I believe there was another one. And the shade Rose Gold. So it came with two liquid highlighters, which I'm extremely excited about. This is what the packaging of the highlighters looks like. So these are the two. From Laura Mercier, it came with the Secret Brightening Powder. This one I've tried, it's a little bit more of a white powder. I like actually the translucent one a little bit better, but this one is not a bad one. So, um, and it's a pretty good size. And just so you know, my lips are starting to sting a little bit more. From the brand MAC, we got a lipstick called Mer, M-E-H-R, pretty shade. Kind of like a berry plum type of color. Ricky Care Backstage Blotting Papers from Tatcha. You could not believe. From Tatcha, he says that this is a brand that he totally stands behind, that their creator is a no nonsense person, um, and that he just really likes the brand. It came with the silk canvas, which I am going to try to not open because I already have one. So I love this, definitely gonna be saving this because this is a really great product. It's also a really pricey product. This is a really good smoothing primer. It feels so good on the skin. Some more false lashes. We got some, again, from that same brand, Blowout Lash. It says Kiss, I think that's a brand, Kiss. This is a triple push-up collection, Bustier Lash, Bustier Lash. Then we have Walford Richards designed the best makeup brush cleanser so this is this actually says brush cleaner and this is what it looks like it actually smells very good it smells very citrusy so it's like a little seems like a cool cool brush cleaner something i will definitely get good use out of i got from the brand philosophy some makeup wipes this is the one that was we got one in the bag and then he let us take another one from a table that they had set up the Magic Pads, these are it says gentle daily exfoliating pads for the treatment of blemishes and unnecessary signs of aging. So they're closed. I kind of want to open them up just because there's so many new products that I want to try and keep these sort of closed. I got some silk, silk scrunchies. So this is another one of those products that we got too, that one was sitting outside and we got to keep it. For the makers of the anti-aging, anti-sleep crease, anti-bedhead pure silk pillowcase. So these are like silk scrunchies, I guess for your hair. It says, made with slip silk to be gentle on your delicate hair. So some silky scrunchies. From Amphis, we got hair and nail supplements. This is, um, it's something that you eat or like, it's pretty much says, Amphis Hair and Nail Nutrients Liquid Supplement has a chalky orange flavor. It comes like this, this many, and then it says you take one of these daily. When it comes, I mean, if it tastes like orangey, it might be something that could be done. The chalky doesn't really turn me on. But um, yeah, so this is something that I'll, I'll test it out. More lashes from what brand? Oh, Huda Beauty Lashes. I hadn't even noticed that we had gotten Huda Beauty Lashes. So excited about these. These are the Camille number 16 lash. So you guys know how much I love applying false lashes. From Super Goop, the Setting Mist Broad Spectrum SPF 50 water and sweat resistance. So we got some spray sunscreen. Also from Philosophy, the One Step Facial Cleanser. My sister actually uses this and she really, really loves it. We also got some chewable vitamins from the brand Oli. This is the Undeniable Beauty for hair, skin, almost dropped it, hair, skin, and nails. It has a blend of biotin, vitamin C, E, and keratin. And this is for restful sleep. It has melatonin, L-theanine, and botanicals. So definitely gonna test these out. I'm not the best at taking vitamins, so those may actually come in handy. From Vichy, we got a fortifying and hydrating daily skin booster. So 
This test is a pure and powerful formula that hydrates, plumps, and fortifies skin to protect against aggressors such as cold weather, pollution, stress, and fatigue. I have a serum from Caudalie that was pretty much like that, and I think they discontinued it. So this is what this looks like. Mineral 89 is what it's called. So this is something that I'm excited. I'm very into skincare. From Anastasia, this is another repeat product that I have. This is the Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped, which looks like this. I actually have one right over here. So this one I'm gonna be giving away probably to my sister or something because I'm sure she does not have many highlighters. So I'll give this to her. Free for all, beauty for all, Karuna. This is another thing that came in. It was it's like a little baggy. It's kind of like a weird papery material. And inside it has these Karana age defying face mask. That's what it looks like. With a face for all amino acids, hyaluronic hydration infused cleanser. So a few products from this brand, which I've actually never heard of. So with that, from Huda Beauty, it also came with a matte red lipstick which I am very excited about. Let's test it out. This is a liquid matte lipstick and it looks like it's a red color that I would love. Not that I use red all the time, but it is like a true red, more berry red, which I kind of like. I prefer the more reds like this than the orangey reds. So this is something that I will definitely test out. So the lip tingling on my lips has stopped. So I approve that grande um, lip balm or lip gloss that plumps because it's not unbearable. From Foot Chemistry, the, three, the 360 Foot Mask Exfoliator. So this is supposed to soften your feet within a week. And this looks like, it's like a little packet like I'm really this. excited about this next product because it was a neutral palette from Anastasia and one that I have never tried. This is the Soft Glam Palette. And I just thought it was really, really beautiful. It has some nice shimmery colors, some beautiful matte colors, a good black. This is a great color that I would definitely want to apply on the crease. And lots of pops of shimmery colors that are bronzy, rose gold, gold. So you guys know that those are the type of colors and um, shadows that I absolutely love. So I was very excited about that one. From Living Proof. The Instant Defrizzer, softness and shine anytime, get smooth between shampoo. So this is what it looks like. From Kiss, we also got the Lash Adhesive. We actually got two Lash Adhesives and then we also got this Duo one, which I'm not a big fan of the Duo, the blue one. This one says is Quick Set and it turns dark. So. Never tried that one, even though I found another lash glue that I like so much more than the Duo, but I will definitely give that one a shot. From MAC, I got a lip pencil in the shade Ruby Woo. I know that is a very famous color um, for MAC pencils. It's like a red color, so I think that'll actually go really pretty with my matte Huda Beauty liquid lipstick. Beauty Blender, so excited about this one. This one is called Beauty Queen. It is the original Beauty Blender, so I'm so excited about that because that you know for sure that I am gonna get very good use out of. Another palette that I was really excited about is from Huda Beauty. It came with this Gemstone Obsessions palette, and this is a colorful one. So this I think is really, really beautiful, and I have the I have a neutral one that I love. I took it on my trip with me and it is just like such a great palette. I love the quality. So I'm excited to test out this colorful one. Plus I don't really have all that much colorful palette that I use all too much anymore. Um, and I know she came out with some other ones that are like in the green and in the blue. I might wanna get some of those. From the brand Cargo, I got a bronzer and a blush. So these I was excited about because both colors are colors that I would definitely wear my only issue with cargo products is that they're hard to open sometimes. It's hard to take out, you know, the top from these. But this is a good bronzer that I think would work really well on me. And then the blush is pink because I peeked at it. And it's a pink color that I would definitely use all the time. So that was really pretty. I just thought they were both really, really beautiful colors. From L'Oreal, the Voluminous Lash Paradise in Black is Black. So 
this is something that is definitely going to be put into good use. From Swiss Line by Dermalab Phytocell Infusion Mask. This is called Essence Masks. We also got the Algae Peptide Eye Mask from the same brand. Then the Ricky Care Backstage Travel Wipes. From Derma Blend Professional Illuminating Banana Powder. Let's see what this looks like, how yellow this is. This is the banana powder, so it's not, I mean, it's a little yellow, but it's not like too yellow yellow. The Real Her I Am Outstanding Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. So I love it because there's so many brands that I really don't know from these brands or that I don't use. Like Derma Blend is one that I've heard of in the past, but I just never use. And he mentioned that he uses, that he really likes a concealer from that brand. This is what the eyeliner looks like. Look at that. It's like a felt tip eyeliner. Speaking of eyeliners, he used, I think like five or six eyeliners on that look. I was just like, no one's got time for that. But it looked beautiful, I'll give him that. But he really used, like, first he started off with a brown. Then he went with a black eyeliner. Then he went, I think, I, f I even forgot. I just got to the point where I was like, yeah, I'm not even going to write that down because I'm not going to do that. But the look was beautiful. But I would definitely maybe use two or three and test something out. But five was a bit much. Platinum Lip Pump Hydrating Lip Plumper from the brand Dr. Devgan. Or Devgan. Oh, this might just be like clear. Oh, this is just clear. So this is probably something. Kind of smells kind of fruity. Platinum lip pump. I wonder if this hurts. This also looks kind of painful. From Cargo, I got this long wear matte liquid lipstick, which is also a red color. So let's compare it to the Huda one. This is the Cargo one. It's also a very beautiful red. So I have a lot of good reds here. And then this one is the Huda. So this is a Huda and this is the Cargo. Man, the other day I actually got the Fenty Beauty one. The, um, what is the Fenty Beauty one called? It has a name. It has a specific name. This one. Let's see what the difference is. Oh, that's a different. Look, this is the Fenty Beauty one. From the brand Yoff. Is this what it's called? Y-O-F. Automatic eyebrow pencil in universal taupe. So this is what it looks like. I'm not going to open this one because I kind of want to Universal taupe is a perfect color for me. It's like the second color right here on this little spectrum And it's a good color for um, For my brows he used on the model. He used Anastasia Beverly Hills um, In taupe really cool was before he did you know how you do the brown colors the brown muck colors on the crease he actually did it first with a cream, you know, he kind of did the contour of the eyes with a cream contour. He blended it out. I mean, he can blend a lot to the point that you barely even see it. I'm sure it was because I was looking at it at a screen and in person right up, up close, you see it. But I was like, he just keeps on blending everything he does away. And then he puts some more and put some more. But that is pretty much the trick to see how beautiful and flawless it all is because you just add blend blend like a maniac add blend blend blend. So I just really loved it. And the trick that I love the most, which seemed like something so, so simple, was when he was adding a pop of highlight or a pop of like shimmer on her lid, on the model's lid. And I do this all the time, except he used a step that I never used, but I thought it was genius. So simple, but so genius. And that is, you know, a lot of times I just want to add a pop of shimmer, do something quickly. I'll use my finger. I'll dip my finger in my highlight and pop it on my lid. Or I'll just pop my finger on a shadow. I do that all the time. But he sprayed his finger with Mac Fix Plus. Mac Fix Plus. You have a ton of sprays. I have this Matchbox primer spray. I have everything readily accessible and I've never thought about doing that. So that is a trick, honestly, that I love the most. So from now on, next time I apply, some shimmer on my lid with my finger. I'm gonna add Fix Plus to my finger and then dab it. And that shine, everybody in the room was like, ooh, when he added that to the lid. Also, he added a highlight to the model's cheek. He didn't tell us what it was because I think it's something that he's working on, but it was a very nice highlight. Another lipstick I got is from the brand L'Oreal and this is the Rebel Rouge. So we got a little drugstore product. And he says, by the way, he loves drugstore product and that he uses a lot of drugstore skincare. So that is the L'Oreal color. It's a little bit more of a darker 
plum type of color. It's just matte. It seems like it's matte. Nip and Fab Exfoliate Glycolic Fix Daily Cleansing Pads. So we did good with the skincare. From Laura Mercier, this is the Bring It Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick. This is kind of, um, I think it's like a pinky, peachy type of color. This is what it looks like. So that's a really pretty, pretty berry color. It's the same packaging as her caviar eyeshadow sticks. Some more lashes. These are from Ardell. From the brand Radial Suede Lips in Melrose Avenue. Let's see. This is, oh, this is like a, a pencil in a nude. So this is a nude color pencil. This is something that you could, that I could probably get some good use out of. Also from MAC, we got a lip glass in Candy Box. So these are all brands that he likes. Oh, this is a beautiful nude color. Mm. Something I would definitely love. It's a pinky nude. So excited, love that. Look at that. Very pretty color. So yeah. That is it. I just went through the whole bag. Let's see what else he mentioned in the class. I wrote a lot of stuff down. The only thing is that the lights were pretty much off in the theater. It was very dark. So you could see what he was doing so much better. But I couldn't even see what I was writing. So he did use Anastasia Brow Wiz and, blonde, and Taupe. He ended up using just Taupe. Let's see. He uses the Kiehl's Lip Balm. He loves the Derma Blend Concealer, Cryolon. He likes Kevin O'Quan. He uses a lot of really nice brushes. He uses a lot of the Goss Makeup Artist um, brushes from Wayne Goss. He loves the La Mer Foundation. He likes the Tom Ford Stick Foundation, but not for foundation, for like, con you know, for like contouring on the face. Um, I think um, even for highlighting, that's what he uses it for, but he doesn't use it for foundation. He uses concealer to prime the eyelids. He doesn't bother with eyelid primers but now he does use primers for the face he loves the tatcha like i said this was an intense class i mean if you just like makeup a little bit then i probably would not recommend you going to that class because you're not going to use five powders or five eyeliners but i just thought it was really really cool he used the rcma powder he kind of just like poured it onto his hand and then this is a powder that he pretty much used when he did the eyelids but he uses his hand like as a palette he would always kind of like blend blend down on his hands before he would put it on your face, on the model's face. He used the Viseart Neutral Matte Palette. He makes, it was so funny because you were like trying to write things down. For example, he would use like a foundation or something or a concealer on her, but he had everything into, you know, makeup artist how instead of carrying the whole packaging, they just put it into palettes. And he's like, I'm gonna use shade one, two, three, four, and five. And I was like, forget it. I'm not even gonna try buying any of those things. So I'm not gonna buy five shades of one thing. That's definitely for makeup artists. Anastasia palette a lot. The one that he collabed with Anastasia, the Mario palette. He says it's not coming back. It was really a limited edition. He used, this is a product that he just bought, the Kiko Milano Powder Bright Dual Highlight Shimmer Number no. 8. He used that a lot, it was really beautiful. He was just testing it out that day. That's a product that he used, he sprayed his finger with Fix Plus and put it on the eyelid. He likes the Urban Decay 24 7 eyeliners. He used one of those in the shade, I believe it was Gold Mine. All the sponges he uses, he uses wet. So not just a beauty blender, even the little wedges that he uses, he uses them wet. And then I liked how he would just like, if he would use them for concealer, he would put it aside and only use it for concealer. He used another one for something else so that he wouldn't be mixing. He uses a lot of sponges. It's the Coke and Dough Foundation for dry skin. So in that, in that he mentioned the Coke and Dough Foundation and he also mentioned the La Mer Foundation for dry skin. I love those so definitely you guys know I love those someone asked what he liked from the drugstore and he says he liked the L'Oreal true match number seven line from the drugstore so that he likes he applied makeup everywhere like to the neck to the ears he says that even if they're showing some skin when he does makeup on celebrities he'll just use whatever is left over in the beauty blender and just pat it on the arms or on the hands he doesn't really go forward you know, he doesn't just apply a whole new layer of foundation on the hand, just whatever's left over. Like I mentioned, he likes the Tom Ford foundation sticks, but for contouring, not for um, using it as foundation. Oh, he used this Ben Nye Mojave adjuster. It was kind of like a, that I want to get. That's one of the products that I do want to buy and one of the Charlotte Tilbury eyeliners. But it was kind of like a corrector, but it was just such a pretty peachy color that he used it as blush. 
he dabbed it on the model's face as blush and he also dabbed it on her lips so that's a part that I wrote down. I have to go through all my notes. I haven't had time. It's been a little crazy. I'm working on a lot of things that I'm hoping I can share with you guys. More personal things um, and changes coming up. So I'm kind of in that and I just have not had time to even read everything. But you have to see this book is full of stuff that I wrote down. I'm just trying to tell you guys as much as I can. But I mean, yeah, it was just great. I really liked it. Just two concealers, of course, he says. Um, first he puts the cream one first, more creamy concealer, and then he uses, um, you know, more the more liquidy type of concealer, which I like that too. He loves the touch of dewy skin mist. That's what he used at the end. The Cover FX liquid concealer, he used that, and he said that the Laura Mercier concealer, which I love, is a really great concealer for, like, people that are, like, over 30. Like, if you're... You know it doesn't crease he, he just mentioned that like so for when you're in starting your 30s it's a really good concealer that's what he said ultra long wear concealer so i use that in my 30s put alcone pro zade special it's special effects makeup glue to her brows to hold her brows in place and he like to he like spiked them up having a quan lip pencil in medium that's what he used to line the lips I would think it's for someone who's a makeup lover um, if you really want to learn awesome tricks on how to do your makeup I loved it but it's not a class that I would tell like my sister to go to because let alone she does not apply one eyeliner she's not gonna apply five like she's not gonna get good use out of it because she likes makeup and she likes to apply makeup but she's not like a makeup addict like me if you're a makeup artist probably a great class for you you're gonna get a lot of good tips and tricks definitely get good use out of I just got little tips I love the fact that a lot of the products that he recommended are products that I loved and use every single day, which means I'm using the right things. And um, yeah, so just little trips, little tips and tricks here and there that he showed us that I would have never thought about that are super simple to do on yourself. Those are the ones that I'm most excited about. Of course, I'm excited about the goodie bag. I'm gonna try out all this new makeup, all these new brands. Some of them I've never heard of, some of them I have, and I'm extremely excited about them. And that was pretty much it. That was pretty much my experience. It was very cool. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all the products that I mentioned that I got in the bag in the description box down below. Don't forget to check out my Instagram so you guys can see some of the photos that I posted the day of the event. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. And as always, I just wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup and I'll talk to you very, very soon. Bye.